All right, now this Galaxy S23 Ultra here is running on One UI 6.0 based on Android 14. And this is currently on Beta 1. In fact, in the West, the Beta 1 and Beta 2 were released, but here in India, in my region, uh, there was only one Beta that we have got, and that included uh, the features of both Beta 1 and Beta 2 released in the West. Now here in my region, I have got another brand new update on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now this should be the Beta 2 here in my region and probably Beta 3 in the other regions. Now let me go to the settings and show you what is this update all about. As you can see the version is ZWI8 and uh, here you can see new features are mentioned. We have got some enhancement for the video player. Uh, then we have got uh, the bugs uh, which have been fixed here. A list of bugs have been fixed as you can see. Uh, then at the bottom you can see the size is about 1288.27 MB which is again huge. Uh, the security patch level is for September 2023 which already came along with the beta 1 this month itself. Now in the change log you can see it says new features. For video player, we've got a couple of uh, pointers here. It says enhanced layout. Video player controls are now easier than ever. Buttons with similar functions have been grouped together and uh, the play button has been moved to the center of the screen. And we also have enhanced playback speed controls. Uh, speed controls are now easier to access with dedicated buttons instead of a slider. And then we've got a huge list of bugs which have been fixed. I will talk about this later. Uh, then we've got some known issues mentioned here about which we will discuss later. Now, I feel that these features have already been added in the beta one itself on this phone. So before I install this update, let me show you the video player first and let me show you all these features they have mentioned which are already available on beta one and that I have received on this phone. Let me tap on gallery. I'll tap on uh, this hamburger menu to go to videos. Now let me open any of the videos here. Now this is the default video player we have got. This is the film strip we get at the bottom and we can tap on that particular clip to uh, forward or rewind the video. And this video can be opened in video player by tapping on this three dot button you can tap on this open in video player option. I'll tap on this. Now you can see this video is being played on the Samsung video player. And when I tap on this, you can see all these options at the bottom. Let me just pause this video. Uh, we have got a few options here. Let me tap on this particular uh, speed button. You can see we have got playback speed here from 0.25 up to 2.0. We have got playback speeds. Let's go back. We have got this option here to uh, stretch the video or to crop it to fit the screen or to get back to the original ratio. Then we have got this particular button here to minimize the video that is being played. Uh, we can maximize it by tapping on this and tapping on this button here. Then we have also got uh, the auto rotate button here. And then we have got this lock icon by tapping on which you can lock the video. Uh, this will completely lock the screen. You will not be able to go back to the home screen or do anything on the screen. The video playback will get locked here. We will not be able to go back or do anything on the screen. Now these options are there on the beta one itself. Now let me go ahead and install this update and let's see if there is any change or any improvements there. Let me install and come back to you guys. Here we go. I've just installed the update on the phone. Uh, by the way, if you like this uh, lock screen wallpaper, I have left a link for this in the description. It just looks beautiful. You can go ahead and check that out. Download the uh, wallpaper. Every video I post on YouTube will have one of the other new wallpapers for you guys. So go ahead and check all the videos out and download the wallpapers. You may fall in love with them. Now uh, it says phone restarted. Let me unlock the phone. We are on the home screen and for some reason the files shortcut icon which was here has just disappeared. Uh, maybe that's a bug or something. I'm not sure. I had created a shortcut for uh, one of the folders in the files app which was placed right here. Now it has gone. Uh, I will find that out and uh, place it back here again. Uh, now let's go ahead and now since this has been updated let me open the gallery application and open the video and let's see if there is anything has changed. Now as you can see we've got the video play pause button button right here at the center and we have got this uh, film strip at the bottom. Uh, we can tap on it uh, and uh, fast forward and rewind the video. Now let me tap on this three dot button and open uh, the same video in video player like we did before. Now let's see if there is anything changed here. I will just pause the video. Uh, you can see at the bottom we have got all same icons. These are the brand new icons which we have got with One UI 6.0. And when I tap on this uh, playback speed icon, you can see it again starts from 0.25 to 2.0. So uh, I feel that there is no change as such with this all new update, though they have mentioned the same in the change log that uh, they have added all these features now. But this was already there on the beta one that I received on the device. Now for this feature to work, uh, if you want to open the videos in this video player, you need to have a video player application installed. The video player app is from Samsung uh, that is available on the Galaxy Store. You can install it if you have if you don't have it by default on your Galaxy phone. 
phone. Now, uh, this works only if you have installed that application. And if you don't have the app installed on the phone, you may not get this option to open the video in video player when you tap on this three dot button on the top. So be wary of that. Now, let me just compare the current version on One UI 5.0 with the previous version. As you can see, uh, this is how uh, the icons look here at the bottom. It is very well organized. Now, if you look at the previous video player on the One UI 5.0, uh, the icons look like this. We do have these options, but you can see we don't have this playback speed option in the uh, previous version, but we do have other options. Like you can see here, we have got the auto rotate option. Uh, we have got uh, the next video or the previous video option here. And we have got this icon here, which we can use it to expand the video to the full frame or uh, to uh, shrink the video. Now, these are very well organized in the current version. Everything is available here right at the bottom. Uh, here on the previous version on One UI 5.1, it's all scattered over here. Now, that is what we have got on One UI 5.0 as far as the video player is concerned. Now, let me go back. Let me go back to the change log. Now, you can see we have got these bugs. Uh, improved One UI home crash. Improved sometimes stop problem when switching home screen using app. Uh, fixed Bixby call error in certain situation. Improved sometimes stop problem when pressing long on the home screen. Improved the app termination problem when entering camera video mode. Improved the problem that Samsung Pay is not executed with swipe gesture. Automatic restart of the device care. Add manual settings menu for schedule restart. Improved the shape of notification icon in text message. Fix the notification bar colors error when running apps on Dex. Fix the problem that the routine does not work in when you receive a message condition. And then we've got these known issues. After updating One UI 6.0, the installation of the Kids app is not possible. Onboarding failure occurs when login is restarted after Samsung Pass initialization and Samsung account logout. Voice recognition error answer the phone while receiving phone call. Google Assistant error when swipe up in a specific situation. So this is the brand new update we have received on One UI 6.0 beta on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. If you haven't got the update yet, go ahead, check the update. You would have received it by now. If at all your phone is facing any issues or any bugs, it should get sorted out with this particular update. Now, if you have an option to enroll to beta and wondering whether you should uh, update it or not, I would say go ahead, update it. I don't see any major issues with the beta version right now. The phone is running very smoothly. There is no issues at all I see here. Uh, here and there, there was some small stutters and uh, some lags, but uh, as far as the normal operations are concerned, there is no issues at all on the device you can go ahead and update it to the beta version and probably in the next couple of weeks we will see stable uh, stable variant coming up uh, and i will be posting many more videos about that and i have already posted many videos about all the new features that we've got on one ui 6.0 if you have missed those videos go ahead check out the channel and uh, do give this video a like if you find this video informational and subscribe to the channel if you haven't been a part of apex community already that's about it thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye